what I wore last week, this week, is mainly stuff that's good in really hot weather because we had a hot week here in London. Um, I think we had the hottest day of the year, so it was on Friday, it was I think 34 degrees in London and well it was 28 degrees just in my flat overnight so it was extremely uncomfortable for a couple of days but then we just had sort of just nice kind of 24 25 degree weather for most of the rest of the week we had one kind of chilly day but it's been a hot one it's finally kind of leveled out and I think we're getting another cool week now so summer but not summer this is a classic kind of English weather it really keeps you guessing so I started off um this was Saturday last week I record this on a Sunday, so I do kind of the previous weekend and the previous work week. So this one I wore at home. It was a hot day. I just wanted something fresh. And this is Adidas Get Ready for her. This is such a good little cheapie. Like, it's super, super cheap. I think this probably cost me maybe £4. I think this is a 50 mil. Yep. And um, it's, it's really yummy, this one, because it's just watermelon. And sometimes I just want something that's fresh and fruity and doesn't have like a woody base, doesn't have all these other notes in it. Obviously, this has other notes, but the main takeaway from Get Ready is a kind of watery watermelon Jolly Rancher kind of smell. That's a very American term, but we don't really get watermelon sweets in the UK. <laughs> we have to kind of ship them in from other countries because um, apparently that's a bit exotic for British sweets. We get like raspberry, strawberry, lemon, lime and orange. That's pretty much the flavours we get. But this one's really nice, really fresh. It's really easy to wear and it doesn't go shampooy on me. This one stays fruity. So the notes for Get Ready by Adidas are top notes of watermelon and grenadine and orange, middle notes sugarcane and lotus, base notes musk, cedar and amber. And I, can, I think I can sense a little bit of musk in the base. The amber, I think, is maybe just giving it a little bit of warmth. It's not very noticeable. I can't really notice the cedar, which is a blessing um, because, you know, I'm so fussy about cedar and I don't like woody things. So the sugarcane, grenadine, orange and watermelon are really what you smell. I think the lotus is there, but because the fruits are so prominent, you I don't think you'd really recognise it. If I have a look at the votes, yeah, the votes go watermelon, grenadine, sugar and orange. Um, uh, and those are like the big votes and then lotus, musk, cedar and amber so I really recommend this one if you want just a really simple watermelon scent there's not really anything else going on with it it's sweet, it has like just a bit of tang to it from the orange and it's really easy, really cheap, really pretty and it is exceedingly good for sporty times for gym for hot weather for yeah it's just i really like it a lot i think it's it's the only one of the adidas fragrances that i really like i'm just going to try not to push that out of frame okay so next up on the list is when we had the day that wasn't quite so hot so this is vespa and i reviewed this quite recently just because uh i knew i was going to be wearing the vespa perfumes so i made sure i got that little uh vespa bit up now Vespa is the one that I think, so this is the original Vespa, I've got Sensation as well, but because it was a chillier day, I just fancied this one, um, probably because I'd put the video up, so I was thinking about it. And this is the one that I, I think smells a bit like um, lemon and ginger uh, soft scoop ice cream. <laughs> so this is one of those weird anomalies where it's a vanilla, -y, really vanilla -y perfume that I like. Normally I don't like vanilla -y perfumes, there are a couple of outliers and normally it depends on whether or not, you know, it's actually mixed with something that kind of turns me off. So with this one, I think ginger and, and lemon with that kind of, I'm going to be honest, really synthetic um, and quite cheap smelling vanilla perfume. Um, I can kind of I can kind of deal with that. I can't really deal with fancier vanillas, especially if there's like peach or rose. But this one is very, very much a slightly kind of fiery ginger, a really nice bit of citrus and just a cheap kind of ice creamy smell, like a cheap kid's ice cream. Um, Oh, and it definitely has apple you can smell. So I'll do the notes because you can smell the apple for sure. So top notes, lemon, bergamot and ginger. Middle notes, apple, orange blossom and heliotrope. Base notes, vanilla, uh, white musk and cedar. Sorry, I totally forgot about the apple, but the apple is quite prominent. Hang on, let me have a sniff. 
yeah, gingery, lemony, appley, um, soft scoop, cheap British ice cream. That's what it's making me think of. I'm not sure how well that sells it, but I like this one. My partner really likes this on me. Like he does sniff me quite a lot when I wear this. So um, it, even though it's a bit synthetic, it's also a bit of a man killer. And I, I wore it all day to work very happily. Um, did I wear it to work? Wait, uh, huh. I did wear this to work. I've got these in the wrong order anyway. Doesn't really matter. So next up we had, oh, I just, I had to put this up as well. So, because I knew I was going to wear this. I did say I'd wear it. Um, oh my God, it's like heaven. This is Aqua Colonia, star fruit and white flowers. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Actually, Oh, having worn quite a lot of the Aqua Colonias, I think this might actually be my favourite. It's very, I do, I love the lemon one. I love the lemon one. But I think this one is just so wearable in terms of you could wear it any time of the year. This is actually such a nice scent that it's fully signature scent worthy. It is a watery, bright, summery fruit and beautiful, beautiful white flowers. Super blossomy floral it's so so pretty it's light but it's really noticeable I think I think people around you can probably smell you wearing this because I was really aware of wearing it and I mean I didn't I mean you can see I wore it for a whole day and I haven't used a huge amount um so you don't have to top this one up as much as you might do with some of the other aqua colonias I think this one lasts quite well and it just is it's just so heavenly and again, it doesn't give you any notes other than star fruit and white flowers. But I mean, from my nose, I'd say I think it's got star fruit. I think there might be some juicy, very watery kind of sweet peach in there, maybe. I think there's a little bit of some kind of jasmine, but it's not like a jasmine that bothers me. And then I'm not really sure about the other white flowers, but what I said in my video was that it reminds me of mock orange, which are Philadelphia, so which is beautiful little flowery, blossomy bushes that you get in early spring in the UK. And it just is, it's to me, that's like, that and cherry blossom is the smell of spring. I do like the smell of jasmine in gardens, and I, I tend to kind of notice that a lot in the evening. But throughout the day, it just, Philadelphia smells like sunshine to me, and I think this star fruit and white flowers smells like sunshine it's just heavenly so I love it um so then you'll notice I always try to get my <laughs> my little singular um reviews up before I know I'm wearing things or when I know I've worn them so I have to go through my videos I've already recorded and find them and put them up ah oh, I mean this is I mean, uh... So, one of the tester bottles I got of the Gwen Stefani Harajuku Lovers. So this is Wicked Style G. And i just done that. I just did the, the video and uploaded the video. So I was just in the mood to wear one of these. And it's just kind of slightly tart, but then also slightly sweet. So it's really sherbety pineapple perfume to me, this one. So weirdly, it's described as fruity, aquatic, ozonic and fresh. But I don't know. I'm not sure that that really describes this too well. I think it's because there is actually watery notes. So it's watery, but I think it's watery in a kind of sherbety sweet kind of way. I'd almost say like, you know, the fizzy sweets that you get. <laughs> so the top notes in this are watermelon, pineapple, granny, smith, apple and peach. Middle notes, raspberry, tuberose, peony, base notes, water notes and musk. And this is a really nice, fresh watery but sharp and sugary fruity perfume that doesn't turn shampooy like it's a really good one for not turning shampooy so it is quite a tart and slightly acidic pineapple-y sweet perfume and when it dries down it's almost a bit more like um uh what's the pine I can't oh crystallized pineapple it's more of a kind of crystallized pineapple when it's in the deep dry down um, and again, it's like a skin scent. It's quite good for summer because it's honestly like, I mean, I'm just going to give it a quick spray just because I, oh, look. Yeah, you do get some of the apple in the first spray. Oh, it's watery. It's fresh. It's quite, I mean, you, people would say it was juvenile. I don't really like that expression, but I think it's young and girly, but I think young and girly is good for summer, no matter what age you are. I think it just works. I think it's really nice. And 
direct cosmetics actually they restocked all the stuff that i said they didn't like i said they'd sold out of some and they had and then they got a restock so i think they're just adding stuff in as they get it but we've got so many of these tester bottles so they're really fun to try then oh my goodness i can't wait to talk about this one and i haven't done a proper video about it yet i haven't even filmed one that i uploaded it so i am in raptures with this perfume this is ck2 and yeah i bought this because of the bottle or at least i noticed it because of the bottle um you can't deny this is one of the coolest bottles ever i mean look so that's the lid this is the bottle it's just stunning i love it and i was hoping my big bottle of this would have arrived because honestly I, I loved this. I thought it was great. Oh, just smelling it makes me extremely happy. Um, I was excited about it. I knew I liked it. And I thought, oh, I don't think it'll take me that long to get through that little 30ml bottle, to be honest. I think I got that from TK Maxx, actually, for maybe between 12 and £15. Pounds. Can't really remember. I think they might still have them. Um, and I loved them. I loved this. And then I wore it this week. On, and it was a hotter day this time it was very hot and it was just the most gorgeous smell oh my god obsessed and it's really unusual um so I'll I'll just read the notes because they are very unusual um again which is why I wanted to try it because this is one of those CK fragrances that is supposed to be for men and women and my general feeling because of all the CK1 uh, perfumes I've tested or bought or sold or whatever I always find them really masculine. I don't find them feminine at all. And then it's like, well, you know what? This probably isn't going to work for me. It's probably going to be too woody. It's probably going to be too masculine. And it totally isn't. This is purely unisex. It doesn't lean feminine. It doesn't lean masculine. It's just delicious, perfect hot weather. So the weird notes. Top notes, wasabi, violet leaf, mandarin orange and pear. Middle notes, pebbles, um, hedione, Orris root, peony, and rose. Base notes: vetiver, white musk, incense, and sandalwood. And it, it is this is a masterful creation. All of the comparisons to this are all extremely niche perfumes, really special, magical, interesting perfumes that cost an absolute small fortune. This is a bargain, and I mean it's it's really hard to describe, but it, it's like cool rain hitting hot pebbles but it's got a sweetness to it <laughs> it's really hard you can you, you you can sense that kind of slight heat from the wasabi you can definitely sense um a bit of the incense but it's very subtle really nicely mixed in i think it's what gives it a bit of a kind of water smell if that makes any sense it's incredibly fresh I can definitely smell that kind of pebble um, note in it. I can, it's just, it's very pure. It's gorgeous and clean. But the sweetness in it is what really brought it home to me because in the bottle, I was like, I really like this, but I hope it's not too sharp for me because I honestly, so many of these kind of clean perfumes are just so sharp and that I, I need a bit of sweetness with this kind of thing. And um, as soon as it hit my skin, I was like, okay, it's got a bit of, I could sense that wasabi. It was a bit like, woof. And then very quickly it got much sweeter, like not ridiculously sweet, but like sweet skin. And it was just heaven in the high heat. It absolutely excelled itself. It's so magical. Um, yeah, I mean, when when the big bottle arrives, because I, I went, I wrote a review of this on Fragrantica after I wore it on the hot day. And I was and, and I saw other people saying it had been discontinued. And I was like, no, oh my God, this is so much better than every other Calvin Klein perfume I've ever smelled. It's so much more special. So I immediately went and found like, I mean, actually, Direct Cosmetics has 100 mil for 30, about 30 pounds. So I ordered one of those. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. Um, and I absolutely will do a proper review of this because I love it. I think I want it to have lots of attention because it's so special. Anyway, I'll stop going on about that one. I'll try and make some more room to get some more in. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Oh, my God, it's such a cool bottle. I absolutely love it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm definitely not going to have enough room. Hang on. <laughs> I've got some big boys coming up. So 
so let's try and make a bit of space there we go now then it continued in the hot vein so this is my old signature perfume I always feel bad about putting this into videos because to be honest you can't it's so almost impossible to get these because it's Russian so this is a brocard perfume and it's uh the range is actually called sense of nature and this is um tomato and uh oh god what's it called Tom tomato leaf and blackcurrant that's what it's called um it's terrible for longevity it's quite a subtle skin scent but it is also heavenly like I love this smell it's so up my street it's green it's aromatic it's zesty it's fruity it's sherbety I love it I used to wear it every single day and you know then I kind of <laughs> developed a bit and decided you know I don't want to wear the same thing every day because I'm actually quite interested in perfumes and as soon as I realized that despite being fussy there's actually quite a lot out there that I like and I'm comfortable wearing um and because this is now so so hard to get um it's kind of just become something I wear now in, in high summer because it's really good in high heat. So Brocard is called List, Listia Tomato, if you want to look it up on Fragrantica. That's what they call it there. So this is tomato leaf, blackcurrant, thyme, mint, musk, orange and jasmine. I don't smell any jasmine in this at all. I get the tomato leaves, blackcurrant, the thyme and the mint. Um, probably a bit of orange, but not a huge amount. And I, I think you can get a sense for maybe something a bit floral, but I never would have kind of guessed it was jasmine, to be honest. It's just, yeah, I love this one, but there's not too much point in me going on about it because, like I said, it's kind of, you know, it's not really one that you can get hold of anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. But, yeah, so let's move that on because the next one is very big indeed. So, when you get hit with having to go on the tube on a 34 degree day, um, what are you going to wear? <laughs> that sounds like Ghostbusters. Um this is new to me and I'm obsessed with it already. I love it. So this is clean and this is fresh laundry and lavender. Um, I'm just going to push all these out completely out of the way while I do this. Um, this is a big beast 175ml bottle because this is an eau fresh, an eau fresh. And oh, it's exactly what it says on the, on the bottle, you know. It's a very fancy clean smelling fresh laundry smell and lavender to the point where I'd say I mean you could so easily just use this on your sheets or you know <laughs> I don't want to ruin it by saying it's it, it's got a Febreze vibe but it absolutely has got a Febreze vibe like that's what I thought when I smelled it I thought I'm gonna smell like I've just Febreze the hell out of my clothes but I that is happens to be a smell that I really enjoy um I'll just read you the notes real quick <laughs> so top notes fruity notes pineapple middle notes lavender green grass orchid night blooming jasmine star anise base notes musk tonka bean amber precious woods and patchouli and honestly though on me it just absolutely smells like fresh laundry like just wash laundry but um yeah I guess like slightly damp laundry as well so because it's so fresh and so watery so clean and then there's definitely a very noticeable lavender there but it's not sharp it's not like old-fashioned it's really modern and fresh and lovely and it's so comfortable it was just, I mean and also because it's no fresh I just sprayed the living daylights out. I did have this whole bottle with me um in my bag because I had loads of stuff in my bag anyway when I was at work it is, I mean, I did a, I've done a whole video of uh, fresh laundry scents and annoyingly I didn't have this when I filmed it, but if I was to do another, you know, and also I've done a spa scents one as well and I didn't have this at the time. So I'm always kind of adding little things to my collection and I'm like, oh, God damn it, I've already filmed that video. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, uh, magnificent, you know, <laughs> if you like laundry smells and you want something for high heat unless you have an issue with lavender but like lavender is noticeable but I don't think it's it, it's not more of a dominant note than the kind of laundry smell if you see what I mean um I think you'd love this and clean is not the cheapest normally but you can get this one and one that I've also about to put a review up that's just not for me which is the coconut one um the eau fresh 
you can get these for, I think it was like five or six pounds for this 175 mil from Direct Cosmetics. I mean, I'm not joking, you know, I'm obsessed with Direct Cosmetics. They should really sponsor me, to be honest, because I'm basically sponsored by them, whether they know it or not, because I buy so much from them. But this is, this is such a good high heat smell because you just smell clean, fresh, lavendery but that's like really comforting so it's also like really comforting when you're feeling a bit sweaty you know it's like just so nice and I loved it I kept reapplying it I absolutely loved it I wanted it everywhere all over me all over my clothes it was just gorgeous like it was so good 34 degree heat this absolutely smashed it this was an absolute winner and um yeah god what a great what a great batch of perfumes. I love these perfumes. I love all of these perfumes. And um, I'm extremely happy to have all of them. I think they're brilliant. I love them. I know that this one's really hard to get. And that is a bummer. But all these other ones, like this one's a bit more tricky uh, at the moment. But clean, I think, you know, like I said, you can get it from Direct Cosmetics. You can get this not necessarily in the UK at the moment, but you can get that for maybe 17 quid. You can get these for like about 12 quid, the little ones, and about 30 for the 100 mil. These are Direct Cosmetics for a fiver. These are about four quid anyway. you look. This is this literally cost me £2.49. So, you know, a really good batch of perfumes this week. And I love them all. And they were all brilliant at performing in high heat. Um, actually, I have to say, the CK2, the performance on that is incredible. It is subtle. Uh, it's like a bit skin scenty, but oh, it is brilliant the longevity amazed me for something that's like such a clean spa scent it's just brilliant but yeah I mean I obviously clearly I have to make a video about it on its own and dedicate a video to it because I am obsessed love it so yeah that's that and I'll um I'll make another one next week because I've already I've already worn a couple that I haven't talked about yet so you know oh so many perfumes I'm really gonna have to have a massive declutter at some point but you know there you go